clinical nutrition supplementation is so super critical to everybody's existence nowadays. This is why a main focus of what we do out front, you come here, you don't see all the ancillary little things people see in pharmacies anymore. It's nutritional products and they don't I don't use them because they're add-ons. I use them because they're necessary for vibrant health. How's it going, everyone? Josh Rimini here with your Functional RX podcast. Uh, this is uh, number two that we're doing here, and I'm excited because we're going to talk a lot of stuff, and it's all stuff I love to talk about. Uh, March is National Nutrition Month, and I'm here to talk as a pharmacist perspective on what does that mean in, in nutrition. And we got uh, my buddy here, and we're just going to do a Q&A on all things nutrition and pharmacy and, and what the heck does that mean and all that good stuff. And we're going to have a kind of a vegetable soup Q&A here. We're going to talk about a lot of little things that have been in my head for years and years and years. And now I, it's time to get it out to everybody. Like, what can they do? What are the different things that they can do that they don't really know about? So this is going to be a fun one for me. Yeah. Um, so I suffer from allergies very severely and you know with nutrition I know there's some things that can help with your allergies and then also if I did not get on it fast enough what allergy medicines and what ways can I prevent allergies from happening because I know in about two weeks it's going to happen real bad. So this is a super important question because it's so relevant to where we are today in Charlotte. Um, Let's take a step back because we really got to understand the why. Let's understand the why of the allergy, not what I can do because that's what people come. The traditional pharmacy, people come in, I'm dying of my allergies. What do I take? Here's the antihistamine, Zyrtec, Allegra, whatever you want. Dry the drip, right? Well, that's the downstream effect. The upstream effect to your allergies is a whole lot of things going on. So let's talk a little bit about that because... I think if everyone understood why, maybe they would think of it differently and they can treat it differently. And this is what I do here and our staff does here at Dilworth. But Charlotte is top 10 in the nation, almost top five in the nation every year for outdoor allergies. So twice a season, people are suffering. Why are they suffering? We're not supposed to have allergies, by the way. That's what people think. I have allergies. Well, are our bodies supposed to be so hypersensitive to things like grass that we get miserable, you know, symptoms and sneezing, coffee, all that stuff? No, no, no. We're not supposed to have allergies. I don't happen to have any allergies. My wife happens to have some allergies, but we really start working on the upstream stuff so she doesn't get the symptoms as severe. What happens? It's a hyperimmune function, right? Your your immunity is not tolerant to the allergy, it's active. It says, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna grab it and the side effect of that is histamine and the side effect of that is all these things that your body produces to get rid of the allergy that it hits. So there's a lot of things we can play with but what can you do on the front end to work on your allergies? There's certain nutrients that you need to take like a vitamin C, uh, quercetin which is contained in apples and can be uh, contained into a supplement, high concentrated doses, stinging nettle, things of that nature where if you, if you stabilize the body and you stabilized your immune system and in allergies, it's mast cells. These mast cells degranulate, they mean they explode and they, the histamine is produced. And then all of the things that happen cause you to have the runny nose, the watery eyes, the itchy throat, and Truthfully, I know because I've been a practitioner in pharmacy for 20 plus years now. People are miserable when they have allergies. Are you yes, not? 100%. They, they truly make you feel like crap. And so I empathize with people because they're miserable, but they only want to block the symptom. Just like a drug. A drug blocks the symptom of the disease. It doesn't go to the why. So our nutritional products we use here, our, our supplements, it's the number one selling supplement in allergy season here because it gets, it works. We, it's dehist, we call it dehist. It's a product that's made by orthomolecular and 
we get people to load up the nutrients, okay? You gotta load it up so you stabilize that thing called the mast cell from producing the stuff that causes you to be miserable, really, right? If I can stabilize it and tell it not to do it, right, then you're not reactive as much to the problem and you don't get the downstream effect, which is all those nasty symptoms. Let's block it upstream. And sometimes I gotta block the symptom too because you're feeling miserable. So I kind of take a dual pronged approach to it. I look at it and say, all right, let's get you feeling better now. Let's dry up the drip. Let's, let's put some dye drops in your eyes. Let's clear it out quick. And as we get you on these these nutrients, basically we're giving your body what it needs to not be so reactive to it. And it's stabilizing in seven or eight different ways how to get you to prevent your symptoms from ever occurring. So would that dehist have like vitamin C and yeah. dehist and, uh, and quercetin and all that stuff in it? So it's basically a, a nice, almost like a, a multivitamin for an allergy? It's Yes, it's exactly what it is. It's a formulation that's been designed by science. Scientists have said this is how many things we need. You know, it's got the, the N-acetylcysteine, all the ingredients. So instead of taking five or six or seven different things in different types of vitamins, they formulate it into one specific vitamin, which is like a multivite. So it's a multivitamin for a specific indication. And we don't claim, because you can't make claims on dietary nutrients, but the studies back on the back of the sheet that I give people, all the references on how it uh, works for allergies and the proofs in the pudding and the things we use just like virus it for cough cold everybody comes and gets that product because it works for their cough cold flu everybody comes in here for the dehist because it works for their allergies and you take something three times a day for a week and then you take it for once a day for your season then and no drowsiness these are things it doesn't cause a drowsiness as the antihistamines like benadryl and allegra can and zyrtec so we get the best of both worlds. No, no side effects. Hit it at the front to prevent it before it comes, which is crucial. Like you were saying, you got you to gotta get the nutrients on board to prevent your body from reacting before the stuff comes. So if you're reactive in April, you got to be coming in March. You got to so get I, you a I season ahead. I know I'm going to have it coming up, so I should start taking my dehis now I won't let I won't get it. I won't let you leave today without some for sure. So you gotta load up the system three times a day. My whole staff is trained on this, so it's not like a me thing, it's an us thing here at Dilworth. When they come in and we get prescriptions coming in for Flonase, nasal sprays, people are asking, my, I'm, I, I'm sniffy, I don't know if it's a cold, and then we ask, maybe it's an allergy. The whole staff's like, you gotta try dehist. If it doesn't work, take it back, but I get nobody takes it back. This one is like the number one product for that company. So. I get to vet that process for people. Like you, you can doctor Google allergy supplements, but do you really know if it's gonna work? Are you gonna buy six or seven bottles? Are you gonna, are you gonna trust a testimonial on a website? Or are you gonna trust people that really are passionate about this and that really want people to get the right stuff, right? You get what you pay for. I want it to work. So I don't ever recommend things that I don't think are gonna work for their, their condition used to be very active and so I could get away with not eating as well with it being nutrition month I know the recent weight gain body fat percentage gain not sleeping as well at night not having as much energy comes from nutrition because I work out the same amount but my nutrition is not as good so what kind of roles can nutrition play into helping you feel better and really improve a lot of different factors in your life well first and foremost i'm glad we're talking in march because this is national nutrition month and we have a nutritionist on staff and I mean, i'm a clinical nutritionist at heart and a functional medicine expert about this stuff only because the the simple fact food is the best medicine right you are what you eat so you eat if you eat bad stuff, you have bad signals. You have It's not just fuel. You just don't eat to have energy. Every chemical reaction in your body is dependent on the nutrients you feed it. The problem we have today is that the food we eat is not as nutritious as it used to be. Even if we ate the cleanest, best diet, 
it's not as nutritious coming out of the ground either because we've over farmed the soil there's so many things so we're trying to tell everyone in march hey it's national nutrition month they the the college of dietetics whatever company that goes through all that um they've said that the mediterranean diet was the best diet for people to be on so what is the mediterranean diet it's good fats lots of fruits and vegetables lots of omega-3 lots of omega-9 these essential fatty acids your your decades go on your metabolism gets a little slower you the i love the person that says they're they're healthy like that i'm vegetarian but what are they eating they're eating pasta all the time they're eating processed foods you may not eat meat but your diet isn't clean we call it clean eating here at dilworth no pesticides no no herbicides no hormones no antibiotics half your plate of food should be vegetables with all the different colors the phytonutrient spectrum of food is important but what do we do we want fast we want convenient we want cheap none of those criteria play in with your food is your best medicine food is information food is genetic information on how your body functions so do you want to put the high octane fuel in the ferrari or you they don't work so well on 89 octane right well your body doesn't work so well on 87 octane or 89 octane either it will function we don't die right we don't we don't get hospitalized for eating poor choice food but i can guarantee you i know the science this is in my head like that's not how our bodies feel when i switch someone to a mediterranean rich diet if you will with clean principles and they start eating eight servings of fruits and vegetables a day and clean small amounts of protein with fish and adding a couple things a month down the road this is how much better they feel the pounds shed off because we've focused on what we eat and we when you realize that you're eating medicine right the best medicine then it's different than eating to not be full right or to be full like i need and so it's quantity and quality really stressing the quality first now you were telling me that there's something that you have to kind of get someone started if they wanted to kind of test out the mediterranean diet right oh yeah well it's it's really a mediterranean plus diet so it's 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 not just oh google mediterranean and eat it like there's a little bit of science in there especially the clean aspect you gotta eat clean these days people you really really do Food is toxic if you put the pesticides on it. Um, I, I look forward to having possible uh, future podcasts just on Roundup and glyphosate and why it's so bad for people and why it's laced in Cheerios and goldfish crackers. Like, we got to be careful. There's things we just don't know because they're not reported. So we have a Clean 14 program. You can download it for free on the website. Uh, it gets people started in this clean aspect of giving them the recipes and the things they need to eat for 14 days. Um, we do little add-ons for people because we've got a, a fancy scale here. It's called, called a bioimpedance analysis. It's our in-body scanner, which tests your body fat, uh, true uh, lean body mass, your visceral fat, which is your tummy fat. Um, that's the bad stuff that's really metabolically active we don't like that fat we call it kind of hot fat um, so we we can give someone a baseline to tell them what their basal or their metabolic rate is so you know if I want to lose 10 pounds and my metabolic rate is X amount of calories and we can make sure that those calories are, are there and working for us if I wanted to do more with your nutritionist here what are some things that she can do to help me with you know my food and understanding what my food can do for me since it is nutrition month great question you know what we do here is a lot of times i'll meet with a patient we'll set up their health goals they'll have a goal let's say of weight loss so if they're having trouble with the food plan that we give them and we talked a lot about the mediterranean diet and the core food plan there's a lot of food plans we have there's some that are help with energy some help with blood sugar management so whatever food plan they have, the food they need to eat that's best for them, and they're having trouble adopting that into their lifestyle, 
we have a health coach and we have a nutritionist on staff. The, the health coach is going to help them put it into their daily routine in their life so it can actually work. Like, and then Connie, our nutritionist, she's going to sit down with them and go, all right, here's, the, here's, here's your food. Right, let's figure out how you get it in your body, right? People will say, well, this is all fine and dandy. You're telling me not to eat, you know, you're not, t you're telling me not to eat the way I eat because I eat fast food and processed food and all that stuff. And people get it, they understand it, but then they go, but I don't cook. Okay, well, we got answers for that. She's got answers for that. You can get food sent to you in the right way that's clean. You can get it prepared. You can get it not prepared and you cook it. What's wrong with cooking? It's fun. It, you, it's community. It's, it's part of the process. We're just so fast. We can't figure it out. So it's kind of like figuring out all the answers so you don't have an excuse to say no because that's what people do. They're just, they want... They want to do it so bad, but then they go, "That that's not me. I can't do that. Well, that's kind of crap. You can. We just, we got to teach you how. We got to be your accountability partners. You know, Connie can take a look at the person's pantry and clean it out for them. We can either do it virtually. We'll even offer to do it on site. Like, we're going to do whatever it takes for them to do the things they need to be healthy and vibrantly healthy. So having an understanding, deep understanding of that food plan, understanding why we eat that way, but then and then monitoring their 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 BIA, their fat loss and things like that is what we can do along the way because you want to see change. So if I do this, what's in it for me, right? Not just better energy, your foggy foggy brain clears. People want weight loss, right? It's true. Everyone wants to lose a little weight. So we can help people do that. And I'm really, really charged up about it because now we have tools in our toolbox here that are way beyond a pharmacy that people can come here for their health. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's, that's a good point. You know, you don't hear about a pharmacy doing this very often, which is kind of why I'm wondering how that all works with, you know, having the nutrition on board and how that you know, relates to a pharmacy and why you're going with a, a nutritious approach rather than just giving people more prescriptions because that's how you have made a living. So, you know, why is that mindset change? For me, it's, it's, I have to save my profession. Like drugs don't make us money. I'll be honest with everyone. Like you, everyone thinks that they're so expensive, but the pharmacist is just the middleman. Like what the insurance and pharma gets is all of it. So we're, and it's not to say that we don't make any money it's a profession we have but the reimbursements are so low that we we got to figure other ways out so there's an economic reason but that's not the big reason the big reason is we got to focus on wellness and not sickness drugs don't fix your problem lifestyle change good nutrition the proper supplementation digging into the root cause of your problem is all how you can fix and treat chronic conditions. The pills don't match the ill, right? They're, people want the pill for the every ill. I say that all the time. I probably will say it on every podcast. The philosophy of our health in our country is you have a thing, a diagnosis, and we give you a pill to treat it. We don't worry about the lifestyle modifications and diet and exercise and stress relief. So. That's the functional brain of mine. That's why I call Dilworth a functional pharmacy. It's not a traditional pharmacy. We're gonna teach you the patient at the center of their care. I don't wanna tell you what to do. I want you and I to come up with the plan and nutrition is the biggest piece. That's why I tell everybody food is the best medicine. You could 80% rule. If, if, if your food was tight and you were doing the right thing based on your health needs, you could do 80% of what you need. We just have to cheat with the supplements because the food isn't as nutritious, even if you do all organic, all food, plant-based. There's So why is, I've heard that a lot, you know, what's the difference between in food now and, you know, our ancestors and, you know, even just 50 years ago, yeah. we're eating different even foods. Even two, two generations back, our food was so much more nutritious. Look at what we've done to modernize society. Yes, there are a lot of advantages to having this exponential curve in technology, but there's also disadvantages. The and we're not gonna get into planet warming and all that stuff, but we got masses of people we have to feed cheap. 
That's kind of the general consensus. So we've over farmed the soil. We throw pesticides and herbicides so they, that we can grow it faster and cheaper and more efficiently. And all that has a collateral damage. We have toxic burden. We have a toxic load that's, I, I can't wait to do the podcast on toxicity. It's not gonna be a fun one, but it's for, for people to hear because they don't wanna hear things. but billions of chemicals get dumped on our planet all the time and that what does that where does it go it goes into the water and the soil where does that go it goes into the root system and it goes into the plant that you eat so less nutritious more toxins means bad signals not enough good signals which means clinical nutrition supplementation is so super critical to everybody's existence nowadays this is why a main focus of what we do out front you come here, you don't see all the ancillary little things people see in pharmacies anymore. It's nutritional products and they don't I don't use them because they're add-ons. I use them because they're necessary for vibrant health. It's just a fact of life that we live in. Thank God we have it, right? If we didn't have these tools, we would be in a worse state of mind. This isn't this isn't healthy people. This is vibrant healthy. You have, everyone has a right to be vibrantly healthy, do they not? I talk to my patients all the time. Your greatest wealth is your health. There is no other thing that's more important in, in, I don't hope people wouldn't disagree with me. Maybe their faith, maybe their family, but generally stuff comes after. You can't celebrate your faith and family if you're not healthy. And if you make a truckload of money, you can't be buried with it, right? <laughs> so why not live vibrantly healthy while you're here? Invest in your health. You know, my supplements aren't the cheapest, but they're they're the best. I'm going to give my patients the best because they deserve the best, and I give them the best quality at the best price on the planet. That's my goal here. So will you spend a couple hundred bucks a month on supplements? A lot of people do. But I know that they spend a lot more on stuff that they don't need. I don't want need to mention Starbucks. I don't need to mention fast food. People will spend a thousand bucks for an iPhone because it's important to them. That's great. They've seen value for that. But they don't see value in taking a high quality supplement that's going to give them ultimately better, awesome health. So my goal this year with the podcast is to get people to realize what they should be investing in. Self-care. The last time someone invested something in their health was really probably at college, right? You invested in yourself. You gave yourself an opportunity to be better. Well, we need to do that constantly, every day of the week. I have a closet full of supplements. I use them for a reason. I use them because I have specific things that I want taken care of. So my wife, my children, all of my patients. If you can't come in here and I can't recommend three to five things that you could do better for your health. Now, a lot of the things are free, but we have to teach them what to do. Eating right is free. Is it not? Yeah. I'm not, I can give you the pathway, but a lot of people need the guidance. They need the accountability. That's why they come see me. That's why they truthfully pay me. But I pay my personal trainer I pay my financial advisor because they're experts in the field that I need guidance in. Well, that's why we have health coaches, nutritionists, and a functional medicine certified practitioner here. All that means is we're here to guide you on your health and wellness. What better? No, people in Dilworth and Charlotte, like this is a gem. We have something here that not a lot, a lot of people have, and I'm, I'm willing, able, and we're perfectly poised to deliver it. We want to. Like that's our goal here. Our charge at the store, our culture here is just the feeling of wellness. Vibrant health, vibrant health. Not just live longer. Don't you want to live better? Don't you want to stay well? That's our tagline. That's what we do. Alright guys, well that's about it for today. You know, we're gonna be doing this on a more regular basis. I hope you enjoyed uh, this topic or topics that we talked about. I feel like they're relevant for everyone to understand. I hope you heard my passion. Uh, this is what we're going to be doing on a regular basis. So if you like what you hear, you know, share it with your friends. That's the best thing we can do. Our mission is to get these messages out to people so they do really truly understand what you know the science and the, the art of wellness is for you. So I'm Josh Remini. This is your Functional RX podcast, and we'll see you when you see it.